Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We've been using closed loop coolers around here for a long time. And what that means is it's a water cooler and it's closed, meaning sealed. You don't put the water in here. It comes pre-filled. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Um, and the question I always had is, you know, do I mount it this way? Is it okay to mount it this way or this way or this way? And so uh, Gamers Nexus did a video I don't know, it's been a couple of months ago and I've been meaning to follow up on this. Uh, and I'll link it in the video description, but it's very long, very detailed. And I just want to give you the conclusions that he came up with because he did a really good job. The conclusions are, and this is my takeaway from what he did, is number one, you don't want to have the pump the highest part of your system. The pump is almost always integrated into the, the thing that goes over the top of the, um, the processor, the water block. And again, the pump is almost always integrated in. Uh, it's, it's a whole thing with a patent and it's the best way to do it. You don't want that to be the highest point because what does water, or excuse me, what does air do in water? It rises to the top. Well, if there's any air in the system, it's going to go right up to this pump and it's going to sit in that pump and make noise and the pump may eventually run dry. And just so you know, these things, it's impossible to completely fill these with liquid. They're 97% full or 95% full, but there's always going to be a little bit of air in here. And you want that, you want to control where that air goes. Number one, you don't want it going to your pump, so don't make the pump the highest part of your system. Number two, here's where the hoses go in and out right here. I don't know which is in, which is out, but that's where the hoses are. I'll turn it various angles so you can see it. You don't want this to be the highest part of your system. If this is the highest part of the system and the little bit of air goes up here to the top and you get enough evaporative loss, they're going to be starved for fluid if the water level gets just a little bit low. So you don't want this to be the highest part of your, uh, your closed loop system. So, what does that mean? Well, you see in this system here, this is an AMD system, I've mounted the, the radiator in the front, and you see the hoses are in the bottom, so they'll never be without fluid. And you'll also see the highest part of the system is the top of the radiator. It's higher than the pump. So any air that builds up in this system, if any, will be at the top of this radiator, not causing any problems whatsoever. Um, and that's the way we do it this, that's why we do it this way. And so there was a time where I had this actually reversed. And after watching his video, I realized, hmm, what he says makes a whole lot of sense. So the air will always be here in this particular system. Now there's other ways to mount radiators. You can mount it in the top like this, and then, you know, put the, the block on the processor and that's fine. Any air will just be in the top part of the radiator. It won't cause a problem unless it gets just crazy low. The other way people mount them sometimes is on ITX systems is they'll mount it in the bottom like this. Well, you're asking for trouble there because any air that gets in the system or is already in the system, of course, is going to go to the pump. You're going to get pump noise from air bubbles and the pump could eventually run dry. So um, I know it may not be possible to put it anywhere but in the bottom, but just know that, um, yeah, you could run into some issues at some point. So there you go. There, I'm going to summarize, but th this is the summary I got from the Gamers Nexus video. Number one, don't have your pump as the highest part of the system. Number two, don't have your hose in and out area as the highest part of the system and you, you should be fine. Hopefully that helps you and saves you a little bit of time. And if you want to see the down and dirty, the whole uh, experiment where he, he cut off part of the thing and he put a clear window on there so he could see where the air was and all that. If you want to see all that, go watch the Gamers Nexus video, which I will link to in the video description.